Want me to go get coffee? It's up to you. No time. I'll just take a minute. Should I? Hi, welcome to You Can't Be Serious. Thank you for joining us, um, you know, before noon in a bar. Gavin, thank you very much for being here. My pleasure, thanks for having me. Where are you from? I'm originally from a little town in Manitoba, which is like 5,000 people. I came to Toronto for university. Okay, Ryerson. a big city, I went to Ryerson. Right before I came, I broke my arm, like into two pieces. I have this nice scar. Oh, you do! And, uh, I was like, I'm way too tall to skateboard, but I always loved it. And I wasn't very good at it, apparently. <laughs> so I snapped my arm into two pieces, and then two weeks after I had the surgery, I moved to Toronto. So I was like, totally compromised. I was like, <laughs> couldn't even bathe myself. My dad moved here with me for a week. To bathe you? Well, just to help me bathe. It wasn't necessarily a bathe. I was in res too, it was a bit awkward. Oh, so my dad God. had to come to res every morning to help me. So I had a band. A couple of bands in like junior high and then high school, and then when I moved to Toronto, I didn't have a band because mm -hmm. our original plan was that the whole band, like my high school band, was going to move to Toronto. We we're going to like try to make it. Yeah. And they didn't come. <laughs> and I left you with a broken arm. Yeah. What did you take at Ryerson? Radio and television arts. So you're the lead singer and songwriter of a band called The Wooden Sky. I am. Yep. When, where, what is a wooden sky? Well, it can be a lot of things, really. <laughs> you know, at this hour in the morning, it feels more like a coffin. Oh, nice! Morbid and dark, you know, people think it's friendly and country, but uh, it's really quite film noir. So. You describe your band as folk fuzz? Fuzz folk. Fuzz folk. I, I don't describe it. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's probably... What is fuzz folk? I don't know. I don't make <laughs> it you up. somehow make music to fit that genre? Well, I mean, that people make genres to try to fit the music. Yeah. Oh, you know? It's oh, interesting wow. that way. Genre tags are straight. As a musician, they're like, uh, you don't want to be labeled anything. But then at the same time, when someone is like, have you heard this band? My first question is either, what do they sound like right. or where are they from? That's how you, you describe know? it, I guess. So it's like, I get it. And yeah. I feel like at one point people wanted to call the band the country band Ooh. because I have sort of a draw, I guess. Right. Which is fine. I like country music. Obviously, oh, you're a Toronto based band. Yeah. Where are you most successful in the world? Probably <laughs> here. Here? Yeah. Probably. Okay. We do well in Germany too. Right. Germany has a real fit fiction. That's not the right word. Fiction. Fiction. I don't know. They like music. They do. It's a soft spot for right. it. Right. And they really respect the craft there. So going to Germany is really a special thing. Like to tour there, um, because they the hospitality is great. So you can actually focus on what you're doing. Whereas, and that's not to knock the other systems completely, but. A lot of touring in Canada, in the UK, in the US especially, it's like, you know, drive for six or eight hours, sound check, try, scramble, try to find food, get a shitty hotel, and then do the same thing the next day. And it's fun because like you're sort of on like on the road with your best friends. It feels like you're traveling with a gang. Yeah. It's really great. But in Germany you get to the show and the drives are short, there's lots of people in yeah. the country, people really come to the shows a lot. And you get there and there's you know, you sleep at the venue, they have accommodations above, oh. they cook you dinner, they have snacks, they have breakfast for you. It's That's like, you know, crazy. it makes it easy. So I can get there, we can sound check, I can go for a jog and like feel good when you go on stage and not feel like you just drove for eight hours. Where's your favorite place that you've played or traveled to? That's a tough one. We're asking the hard questions. That's here. hard, yeah, hard hitting questions. <laughs> this is journalism, guys. Yeah. <laughs> on the last tour, we, um, well, we went to Tokyo. Oh, and that was crazy because I'd never been to Tokyo and I never really thought I'd go to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And it was fun to play there, but it was also really just fun to be there because we only had two shows and we were there for a week. So we got to just hang out. We didn't leave Tokyo, we just spent a week. There's 40 million people in Tokyo. So it's like, you know, even a week doesn't even scratch the surface yeah. at all. Yeah. Do you have any advice for um, young up and coming bands or like music artists? working in the industry or trying to break into the scene. Yeah. Well, it's hard work, but if you love it, then it's not, you know? Yeah. And 
probably drive your partner crazy talking about it all the time. Yeah. But if you find someone that's passionate about it too, you're lucky. You know. Uh, those are two pieces of advice. I think, but I do think that it's like it's okay for it to be hard. You know? Yeah. Because like everything good is hard sometimes. You know, if it came super easy, then you wouldn't really appreciate it. How do you, in your band, like how do you measure your success? Dollar bills, man. Dog bill. <laughs> that actually is probably the best piece of advice. I was like, figure out what your gauge for success is. Yeah. yeah. So that when you get it, you can be happy. Do you know when you're performing at White Rose? Wait, this is uh, also not your first time there. No, I was there for the film festival last year. The whole band was there last year. And is it just you going this year? Yes. Okay. The, the show is the 10th. Guess what? My birthday is the 10th. Oh, yeah. Party for your birthday. Yeah, can you like dedicate a song to me or something? Sure. I'm actually collaborating with a couple of musicians from White Horse. And then I'm um, part of the talk series just to talk about like nice. making music and yeah. living. Awesome. That kind of stuff. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Love you, baby. You can't be serious. I guess I like it.